Hello everyone, welcome to Anu's classroom. In this video, we will be talking about the synopsis preparation for your IGNO MBA project. Before we can actually get to preparing a synopsis, as you all know, you should uh, first select a topic and you should have an idea on what exactly you are going to do for that particular topic. Your topic should be approved by your guide as well. Only then you can start preparing the synopsis. Now, what exactly is a synopsis and what are the things that we have to include in a synopsis is something which I know you all would be waiting to understand, right? Because there is nothing much apart from an MMPP001 guideline that is given from IGNO's side. So, uh, what I thought is I will prepare a sample synopsis for you and explain in detail what are the components of a synopsis and from where you can pick up uh, the details and things like that. Okay. So, let's get started. So, what exactly do you mean by a synopsis? Well, you have selected a topic for your project, right? A synopsis will give you a gist that is what you can say a brief summary of what you are going to do for that particular topic like uh, what that topic is all about and with your project what you are aiming to achieve okay so those are the things that usually get written down as a synopsis so the evaluator when you send it across your guide first and foremost your guide and later on the igno side evaluator they will look at the synopsis they should get an overall idea about what you are going to do to complete your project and based on that they will either approve your idea or reject it if your idea gets rejected it is absolutely okay not to worry uh, we'll have to work on and improve upon our earlier synopsis based on the feedbacks given by the evaluator and resubmit it okay so in case it gets uh, up uh, what you can say not approved also rejected do not worry and in case it gets approved then we are all, all good to go we can start doing our project work and finally create our project report and submit it so it is like a plan for your project you can say your synopsis it it will give you all the uh, mainly what evaluators will look for in your uh, synopsis is what are the objectives that you are aiming to achieve that is the rationale for your study why you have selected this topic and what are the objectives and if there are any limitations and how you are going to do this particular study okay those are the things that usually gets uh, what you can say looked upon for evaluation from igno side so definitely when you prepare a synopsis your synopsis should have an introduction an introduction as in a very brief background about the subject that you have chosen for your study like for example if you have chosen to study or your topic is about uh, the uh, what you can say the um, what topic let's say uh, the yeah the effect of lighting on uh, retail sales of big bazaar then you can your introduction you can suggest uh, you can write a little bit about what big bazaar is when it was created who is the owner how is it going what how many number of uh, what you can say outlets are there what are the kind of products that you get you know some some brief introduction about big bazaar you can give so that is uh, introduction then you have to talk about the rationale rationale is, is nothing but why you have chosen this particular topic for your project work so suppose if this lighting on uh, retail sales is your topic then you can say why you chose this topic there would be a reason right uh, maybe you went into a shop and uh, you uh, after going there the lights were dim it was very difficult you might have got an eye strain or in uh, some other shop it was brightly lit and in another shop it was medium lit so you got a curiosity and uh, you may have uh, decided to uh, write a topic uh, do a project on it right so whatever was the rationale of choosing this particular topic the reason for choosing that particular topic you have to write down there then the next part is the objective so this as i said earlier it is a very important topic there this is the crux so introduction and rationale and all are well and fine only but the objective is what actually i feel um, makes your synopsis tick okay if your objectives are strong enough if they are reasonable then um, chances are that your synopsis will definitely get approved okay so the objective uh, you should mention very clearly all the things that you hope to achieve from this study okay so um, in the case of lighting in retail shop sales you uh, our objective would be to find out whether uh, lighting has a positive impact or a negative impact on the uh, sales of any particular shop so maybe it is a hypothesis that lighting does not affect 
okay and uh, maybe you are trying to disprove yourself or you are saying that uh, lighting does affect and you are trying to support your answer something like that so objective should be very clear very precise you will get to know more about how we can write objectives when we discuss about the uh, about it in the sample synopsis that i have uh, painstakingly prepared for you guys okay so some of the ways in which you can start your objective okay line how you can write your objective objectives is usually written point by point okay like points one two three four five like that you write uh, you give bullet points and you write your objectives very rarely does a project topic have just one objective so usually we write down three or four related objectives and uh, keep okay so you could start uh, the objective like to analyze the factors affecting or to investigate the influence of lighting on retail sales in big bazaar outlets something like that then comes the research methodology that is how you are going to collect your information that is data collection primary data secondary data how are you going to collect your primary data are you going to interview people or are you going to go to a particular company and get their account books depending upon your project topic obviously and how you are going to source secondary data secondary data sources are usually websites magazines journals newspapers blah 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 okay the standard uh, we write it down okay so that is the source of uh, secondary data then um, definitely our study especially some study which is done at mba level will have more limitations than a study which is conducted in a much more larger scale even then those studies will also have limitations no study is uh there that is having absolutely zero limitations our study will also have so find it out and write down maybe you are focusing only on big bazaar outlets near your in your town okay so uh, perceptions in other areas would differ or maybe your sample was considered uh, skewed to you know age wise skewed to the older population then then also it will be a limitation so based upon your objective and how you are going to you know research that is based on your research methodology uh, time and again limitations will definitely come up few of the limitations which are constant you can say the time variance as time progresses your study will definitely get outdated um, so that is one line which you can write in any uh, any synopsis right uh, especially at mba level so you can also write down the limitations of the uh, study in your synopsis so these are the main things that igno also asks you to submit Uh, in the synopsis as part of the synopsis not just you know if you look at any any um, known universities guidelines for project proposal creation synopsis is also known as project proposal these are the general things that is required in any universities synopsis so in order to uh, g- prepare a sample for you guys i actually went and um, i asked my friends uh, across different universities to send me their synopsises which they had created for mba and i had checked all of them and i saw that whatever is being asked by igno is what most uh, of the universities ask for them also maybe sometimes you know they say uh, hypothesis what is your hypothesis instead of asking you what is the rationale or uh, instead of objectives they are asking for hypo some small small nomenclature that is how they are asking for the information uh, that wording is a little bit different here and there but the overall idea of what they want in the synopsis is pretty much the same so what i did is i created a synopsis for you from scratch and i we will go ahead and break down that sample synopsis for you okay so that uh, you can get a much better picture don't worry i will definitely post a link to this sample synopsis at the end of this video but uh, once again make uh, let me tell you this is something that has been prepared by me according to my knowledge not at all uh, affiliated to igno in any way Uh, apart from the fact that i also checked your mmpp1 guideline while preparing okay so if i were doing uh, what you can say if i were doing then this is how i would prepare but well, uh, but use it at your own discretion okay do not copy paste that is another thing because this topic is not something new this is an already existing topic so do not copy paste and uh, submit this synopsis okay please do not um, okay so yeah let's get started so before i take you through each and every page of this sample mba synopsis i will just quickly give you a what you can say a quick tour of what all pages are there how many pages are there in this particular synopsis don't worry i have attached the link to this particular synopsis pdf by the end of this video so if in case you are interested in getting a copy of this just head to 
the end of this video and you will be able to get the link okay so as you are here so as you can see we have the first page of the synopsis then you, we have the introduction the rationale of the study then objectives and scope of the study research methods and limitations of the study this is a very small four page synopsis more than enough so this is a sample synopsis only so now let us look at each of these pages see what is written over here uh, the alignment and everything okay so as you can see i have given a border over here okay all my pages have a border approximately one centimeter or so from all the edges okay and i have written project synopsis on mmpp001 and i have written the what you can say the topic of my study so if you can see it has an inverted pyramid like structure so this is how you have to order if your project topic does not fit in one line you better split it like this the first line will be bigger the consecutive lines will be smaller than the previous one so this is uh, all how uh, we have to format this what should be the alignment like how much space should be there in the left side how much in the right side top and even bottom what should be the font size for each of these things all these things you will get from your unit 13 of mmpc 15 i have i will also put a link to unit 13 e copy okay in case uh, you guys want okay so you can pick it from there uh, text alignment uh, fonts font sizes um, then spacing all these things are clearly mentioned in unit number 13 i have referred that same unit while preparing this um, sample synopsis also okay then you have to write down who your name and enroll number as submitted by then under supervision of your guide's name then you can write uh, this is standard things only submitted in partial fulfillment of the requirements for qualifying master of business administration you can give ignos logo and write down ignos uh, address indira gandhi national open university maidangari new delhi and their pin code and your uh, year okay so if you are a 2023 batch then most probably you will start your third semester now right so you should write that year 2023 to 25 if you are 2022 batch then you will definitely write 22 to 24 like that okay then introduction to the study so again generally uh, we put it uh, all the headings are generally center aligned and all the um, what you can say the paragraphs are doubly spaced that means uh, between every paragraph you will get two and uh, two lines okay that is called doubly spaced you will hit the enter two times every time a paragraph ends you will hit enter twice okay then uh, the every pa new paragraph starts uh, around uh, four to five spaces from the starting okay and it will be justified okay alignment will be justified not center not left not right it will just it is justified alignment okay if you are using word microsoft word i created this in microsoft word you can also create it in latex if you are familiar with latex i think btech students will be familiar with latex right i had a latex template with me but my again you might be knowing my laptop has a tendency to crash now and then and i have to reset everything or whatever i created gets lost so it is a never ending cycle i have to soon replace my laptop so i had the latest tem uh, latex template with me but i lost it so i'm at loss now um so anyways so you can either create in latex if you guys know btech guys might know because you might have created your projects in latex right uh, otherwise you can use google docs or you can use uh, you know uh, what is it microsoft word any any word editing software whichever you have you can use no issues okay so you can write down uh, the introduction to study so over here i have written down what all the things are about akshaya how it uh, came about what is the uh, what you can say the importance of the venture and things like that and then comes rationale of the study so i have written why we are undertaking the study over here in the rationale of study part okay so yeah so that is this then objectives and scope of the study so what are the objectives i hope to achieve with my project so to say to study customer opinion towards akshaya centers or to study factors that influence a customer or to know the satisfaction level of the customer study various services offered by akshaya center like that whatever is your objective and scope of your study you can write it down okay and i have or i have just uh, briefly written the objectives uh, as points and the scope of the study the scope of my study will be limited to Trishur district okay then what is the research methodology i will be using so i will be collecting primary data secondary data how will i collect the primary data how will i select the secondary data such kind of things i have written over here in research methodology similarly i have also written uh, the um, how many samples i will be to choosing from where i will collect the samples how i will collect the samples like i will be using convenient sampling 
when i uh, when i go to the road whichever person i'm finding i'll just ask whether uh, that person is okay for the survey and i'll just start asking questions so that is convenience sampling it is not based on any any particular thing even if five people come together i'll just choose one person whom i feel more approachable out of the five right according to my convenience not random it is according to my convenience right so i'll be using convenience sampling method for this particular study and uh, i will be using uh, tools like ms excel and all in order for doing the data analysis and presentation and when i prepare the project i will include all the relevant tables charts graphs diagrams all those things in order to show the data analysis and research outcomes so you can uh, also you can uh, refer this format this template but make sure you do not copy paste anything okay now i have any study especially the study which is undertaken by mba people definitely will have limitations because of the small sample size the convenience sampling methods used and the lack of information that we have also right so there are limitations there will definitely be limitations for our study so i have just quoted down a few of the limitations from my study like for example over here akshaya center is a kerala uh, wide kerala network i am just using trishur district right and that too even trishur district there are many people i am just choosing 100 people most probably it will be from my own locality so that is definitely a consideration when i am doing the study i am doing it in 2024 or 2025 right and post that many changes could come which will make my study outdated so that is also a limitation my time, my study is never a timeless study right changes could happen in the way akshaya centers work in the way people's perceptions changes over the years all these things will be different so naturally my study has all these limitations i have quoted down all the limitations okay so yeah that is it a small four page sample synopsis i hope you guys got an overall idea on how we can create a synopsis by now right so now that you saw how a synopsis is prepared i hope you got an idea so let us also discuss before winding up this video let us discuss some of the common question and answers that i get asked um, from time and again uh, since the past few semesters okay so one of the major thing is how can you know what to write so as we all know clearly apart from 11 page uh, pdf uh, stating the guidelines for mmpp1 there is no other material there okay but not to worry uh, you have uh, mmpp uh, mmpc15 in your third semester right along with your project right and that has all the details that you need to complete your project work starting from uh, how you can collect your data how you can arrange it analyze it how you have to prepare your report everything is there in research methodology paper so before you start with your project work please 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 go read your mmpc mmpc 15 from top to last page from first to last page just cover it at least quickly cover it and then only start with it the reason being it will help you a lot along the way in completing your project and we also have a mmpc 15 course on anus classroom so if you are interested you can go check it out also over there where i have given a brief of all the units that are being covered in mmpc 15 okay so mmpc 15 will definitely help you so again about the format for the synopsis you can refer to any previously created synopsis you can check in your rc or in your sc if they can provide a sample to you or you can even ask your friends who have um, you know completed the projects earlier to provide a sample synopsis whatever they have given uh, for their approval uh, you can ask them or borrow them from them but do not again do not submit the same thing please uh, just use that as a template okay so or else definitely you can go and check your mmpc 15 uh, especially unit number 13 uh, tells you how you have to uh, place your headings what should be the font size the intent all those things the matter of course you will have to find out right so anyways it is a simple thing only don't worry it is not at all any rocket science okay and which document editing tool can you use you can use any document editing tool that is available if you know latex absolutely amazing you can use latex otherwise you can use uh, microsoft word or google docs whatever is there available to you handy please don't use uh, notepad that's the only thing okay any document editing tool can be used no issues and in case so those are the few common questions that i get asked uh, with regards to synopsis preparation in case you have anything else in case i did not cover your doubt 
uh, definitely do leave uh, it in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer them given my knowledge. Okay. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to get the MMP, MMPP1 guidelines from IGNO, you can scan this QR code that you see on the screen and it will take you to that PDF. And in case you want to refer the unit number 13 of MMPP, MMPC15, you can scan this QR code that is there on your screen right now. It will take you directly to MMPC15's unit number 13 or else you can refer your MMPC15 book also. And in case you are interested in getting the sample template which I used for explaining to you about synopsis preparation, you can very well scan this particular QR code that you see on your screen right now and you will get the uh, copy of that sample template. Again, let me remind you, please do not use the same thing. Many people are watching this video. Just imagine what will happen if everybody decides to use that template, right? Uh, and you know copy paste that same thing and send it across to igno it is going you guys are going to be in trouble just use it as a template as a sample and make your own okay so thank you so much for being with anu's classroom until i see you in the next session bye bye